Renting versus buying. There's no easy decision, but in this video, I'm gonna break down which option is better for you. Hey everyone, it's Josh. In this week's video, we're gonna be discussing whether buying or renting is the right option for you. And it really comes down to a multitude of factors that you have to take into consideration, whether it's financial, personality, or just whether it's the right timing for you. So let's look into the, each of the options and discuss what option is best for you. So here are the benefits of owning your own home. And there's a gazillion reasons of why home ownership is such an appealing option. Number one, you build equity. Each payment you make on your mortgage, part of it goes towards building your equity. And each month that you make that payment, you become one step closer to owning that home. And that's something you cannot do when renting. Number two, it's generally a good investment. If you buy your home within a budget, and pay down your mortgage down the line, let's say five to 10 years, if you hold it long enough, you're generally gonna make a good return on your investment. Number three, you have stability. With a fixed mortgage payment, your payments are predictable and stable. Unlike with renting, where there could be increases, your mortgage, uh, your term, let's say your term for a mortgage is five years, it's gonna be a stable payment for all those five years. And finally, number four, there's more privacy. You don't have a landlord on top of your back watching every move and you're able to do what you want when you own your own property. Now here's some of the downsides of owning a home. It's not all rainbows and unicorns. Sometimes there are some downsides to owning a property such as it's a commitment. You can't just sell your house overnight and break your mortgage and that's it without having a, a major penalties. You should only invest in a property if you're going to live there for more than five years because if not you might have to pay some extra fees and penalties if you do decide to move earlier. Number two, you have ongoing maintenance costs. So as a renter, you're not necessarily responsible responsible for the maintenance of your property, but when you do own a home, you have to be responsible for the repairs and upgrades that need to be done to that property. Your mortgage payments can be higher than if you were to rent. By and large, mortgage payments are usually higher than renters who are paying a monthly fee to the landlord. And finally, ROI, return on investment, can be slow. Your property doesn't increase overnight, so you have to take time and, you're, and wait for your property to increase in value and appreciate over time. Now, what are the benefits of renting? It might not be a popular opinion, but renting does have some perks, and here are some of the pros and cons of renting a property. It's usually cheaper. In general, renting is usually cheaper than buying a property in terms of paying down the mortgage. Uh, and some other costs might be taken care of. Like for example, landscaping or snow removal in Montreal in, during the winters. So that's some things that can really help save some expenses down the road. Number two, you have flexibility. Most rentals usually last about one year, so 12 months, and some short ter shorter term rentals will last six months or even be month on a month to month basis. So if you're thinking of maybe shifting uh, jobs or moving around, then renting might be a good option for you. Well, number three, you have little or no maintenance. It's your landlord's responsibility to fix things, issues with the property. So let's say the basement floods or your dishwasher leaks, all you have to do is give a call to your landlord and they'll be there to fix the, fix the issue for you. Now let's take a look at some of the downsides of renting. Number one, you're not building equity. Each monthly payment goes towards paying someone else's mortgage. And at the end of the day, that money goes towards your landlord and it doesn't end up in your pockets and build you equity over time. Number two, the landlord is the boss. Now it doesn't mean they control every move you make, but it is their property and you do have to follow all the rules for the most part. Number three is instability. Now in renting, there is some instability because the landlord does control the rent that he can charge you in accordance with the laws obviously, but he can hike the rent on you and, may, and make it unaffordable so you will have to move if that's the case. So should you rent or buy? And how should you make the decision? Well, it, it's really based on your personal uh, priorities, where you stand financially, and whether you're ready to settle down and commit to a property, or if you're not sure where your life is leading you, or you're not ready to exactly commit to the property just yet. Now some questions you should ask yourself is how stable is your employment status right 
now. If it's not very stable, renting might be the option for you. Another question to ask is how long do you plan to live in the home? If you're not planning to live there for at least five to 10 years, then buying might not be the option for you and you may choose to rent instead. And finally, the last question you should ask yourself is are you ready for the commitment? Buying a home is a big commitment and it's not something to take lightly. You do have mortgage payments, you do have insurances, and you have taxes that you have to pay and that you, you really can't miss. So if you're not ready for that commitment, then buying might not be a good option for you and you might decide to rent instead for the time being until you are ready to take on that big commitment. So there's no clear cut answer. It's really based on your personal situation, your financial situation, and how committed you are to owning a property. I always like to think of a property as a long-term investment in your future. It's, a, it's a, almost as if it's a forced savings plan that's tax free. And that's an amazing opportunity that you can take advantage of when you're ready for it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new and I hope I was able to give you a bit better understanding and help you in your choice of whether you should buy or rent. So if you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them down below. And uh, as always, I'll catch you next time. Say hello to goodbye.